Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye, helping you with your beauty and makeup journey. On this channel, I do a lot of product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice in the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be another lip swatch video. Since my makeup collection videos are so popular, I've decided to really focus on sharing my makeup products with you guys. I know I myself personally really enjoy watching other people's makeup collection videos. But the only thing that I find I would personally do differently is that I would break up each makeup product in categories. Like I don't care if it's one brand category or a, or one type of makeup product category. I feel like when people sort of glaze or gloss over the products that they're sharing, I personally, I'm like, oh wait, no, go back to that one. I wanna see swatches of that one. Or I wanna see what that one's like. Or I wanna know what you think about this makeup product. So this is why I'm doing my makeup collection videos in a mini series. So, you know, I can actually go in depth into certain products that I really enjoy without worrying that my video is going to be a million years long. So without further ado, today's video is going to be a makeup collection of my Milani Cosmetics products. It's going to be a little bit of an unbalanced video because really all I have of Milani products are their two conceal and perfect foundation and concealer. I have them in the shades Warm Beige and 02 Natural. Sometimes I need to mix them because one is a little bit too light for me and then the other one's a little bit too much lighter for me so I have to mix them with a darker foundation that I have. So these are really just winter shades for me. I really need to go pick up a darker shade for the summer because it's now spring, summer is coming up and I really like the way that this finishes on my skin. It's a really nice medium coverage which you can build up to full without making your foundation look cakey. So that's why I like these two. I'm going to go into Glam Radar and pick up another shade that's like a little bit dark for me that I can wear in the summer. So that's those two. The other four makeup products I have are their strobe light highlights. Now these ones aren't super super the, I wouldn't say that they're chrome, like my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. They're definitely not like a you can see from the moon type of highlight. These ones are just sort of like a natural highlighted sheen, which I actually really super love. Because when I have like a pretty full on face look, makeup look going on, like what I do today, I kind of feel like I want highlight, but I don't want one that's going to be like blinding so blinding so I like these strobe highlights these ones are the Milani strobe highlights in sun glow glowing oh I have two glowings I'm gonna get rid of one of them I'm gonna pass one of those on the glowing is probably a little bit too dark for me so I use that one as a bronzer topper and this one is afterglow and this is what I'm wearing on my face today look how beautiful that is it's like I know it comes up like a little bit bright on the monitor, but on my face, it's just a really nice gentle sheen of highlight, not like glitter on my face. So I really, really love this one. Look at that luminescence. It's just so smooth and creamy. And Sun Glow is really nice as well. This one would be absolutely gorgeous if I was wearing like a tank top. Like I know it's spring, but it's still a little bit cold in my bedroom, which is why I have long sleeves on at the moment. But this one would be absolutely gorgeous all over the body. This one is Sun Glow. So look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. It's just so pretty. So I'm going to apply more of that because why not? I need merch that says more because why not? And the last one is Glowing. So that one's a little bit darker. It's showing up lighter on camera than it really is. But for most people, this would probably be more of like a bronzer topper. I don't know if you can see that, but... But it's giving me a really nice glow and sheen to the skin. This is like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Alright, moving on. That's all of the Milani products I have that are not lipsticks. So most of this video is going to be a lip swatch video of their Amori Matte Lip Creams. These ones are the matte ones and I have five of the metallic ones, but I have a feeling that their metallic ones were like 
a special edition, like a special release. And I have a feeling that these ones aren't available anymore. So I am going to give you lip swatches of these and then I will leave in the description box down below whether or not they are still available. If they are available, chances are they won't be available on the website because I mean obviously they were discontinued or blah blah blah, special edition. But I will see if I can find them on Amazon. And if they are, I will link them down below. If they are not linked down below, then they're not available anymore. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this lip swatch video because I'm so excited to share with you these Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. So let's go.
swatches. The last shade I'm wearing right now is the last one that you saw me swatch. As far as what I think of these actual liquid lipstick formulas, I'm finding that the metallic shades are a lot more flexible on the lips than the matte ones are. The metallic lip creams actually dry down and move with your lips and I think that would be because of the content of oil that is in them, whereas the matte ones would have less oil content in them, which make them a lot more unforgiving and cracky on the lips per se. The formula itself applies really, really nicely, both the metallic and the matte ones. It applies really nicely and really smoothly, provided your lips are exfoliated, which right now, after trying all these lipsticks on my lips are well and truly exfoliated but even now this lipstick is starting to crumble a tiny little bit so it's not an extremely long wearing lipstick in the way that it'll stay looking nice and flawless like this now I wouldn't say this is perfect a lot of these lipsticks especially the brighter neon ones will give you the butthole lip look that you can see that's happening here on my lips like the line where the lipstick starts and where your actual lip itself starts so a lot of these lipsticks will give you that look I mean it's not a huge deal breaker for me I find that the colors themselves are actually really super gorgeous and it applies really really nicely now I know a lot of these colors clashed with my eye look but I mean it's the eye look that I had on today and this is the video I was going to be filming today so we can deal <laughs> I don't think these lipsticks are transfer proof um, yeah, the matte ones are transfer proof. It's only coming off in the way that it's starting to sort of crumble off my lips because it is so matte. So people who struggle with dry lips might find these extremely drying unless you go in with a little bit of a lip gloss over the top of it. So these ones are transfer proof if you let them dry down completely. See. I personally don't think that they are extremely long wearing in the way that they will crumble off. They will withstand eating and drinking unless of course you're eating super oily foods, but they're just, they're starting to sort of crumble off a little bit. So these ones are all right, but they're not, they're not my favorite formula. Some of the dark colors, especially the metallic ones, aren't patchy. They're very opaque pigments. So they apply really smoothly. I only needed to go one dip into the bottle and it filled in all my lips. However, the matte shades, I found them to be a little bit patchy. I had to go in twice into the bottle and reapply the lipstick, especially the really dark burgundy one, which was, I think, the shade Sugar, as you would have seen in the lip swatches. So a lot of these colors are hit and miss. I wouldn't say that the formula is the same over the whole range of colors because the pigments will obviously be different in each one. I found the super, super patchy ones to be the really, really dark colors as well as the super bright neon ones like uh, this bright orange one called Craze. Like it doesn't look super bright in the bottle, but when you apply it to the lips, you would have seen in the lip swatches that this was like neon and it was also very patchy. So just be aware of that. Also, I was dancing a bit because I had some feel-good beats on while I was doing the lip swatches. <laughs> so while the darker lipsticks or the brighter neon lipsticks are a little bit patchy, I don't think that it's anything that a lip liner won't fix. I believe that going underneath with a bit of a lip liner and then going over the top with a liquid lipstick will definitely help with the patchiness and also the longevity of your lipstick. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of them are Life as Kikai. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So I'm going to, so I'm, so I'm gonna very quickly just, so I, what, I, what am I trying to say? Ooh, that was my belly. Do you hear that? And um, 